Um, so why, why is so much of the screen, like, zoomed in? No, but, like, there's, there's black bars on the top and bottom, and the UI elements, like, the HUD elements, rather, <laughs> like, go through those bars. It's a cinematic fight, John Hub. This, that sucks. <laughs> That sucks. Like the like the right the, like this is like a sixteen by nine monitor that we're playing on, right? Yeah. The, it's a four by three game. That's fine. The sidebars they're valid, but you got this weird square view with the top and bottom bars, and then the HUD elements go through. You the the, the illusion is not there, bro. I um. <clears throat> speaking of. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, Wait. speaking of for um the monitor's sake. Yes. Um. I just bought a 43-inch monitor mm -hmm. um, that I absolutely did not need, um, but I wanted it. Valid? Yeah, that's valid that you own it? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna, I don't know how it's going to be yet. Oh, sure. That's valid. I thought you were going to like ask if I like wanted it. Like, no, I wanted to bro. buy it. No, I was like, no. why would you sell that? Like, I'm going to return it if I don't like it, but I bought it. I got it for like 387 used on Amazon. Is it a display port or is it a HDMI? I don't know yet. Okay. I I think if you don't want it, I'll, I'll buy it off of you. I think it's a Display Port. No, I'm just gonna return it. Probably it's a no, 4K. It's one of them smart Samsung monitors. That's, that's fine. I'll buy it off of you. Do you want another monitor? Yeah, I'll use it. It's bigger than this one that we're using. Probably. Goku is not Goku. Let's see what this body can really do. Let me see what this <sighs> body can really do. That's what I say to you when we have loveless sex. Hello. Let's see what this body's really capable of. Oh. You're up. What's that? Oh, shit. What's that quote from uh, uh, Civil War, Captain America Civil War? The tensile um, strength is off the charts. Is that from... What? what, that, what he is, says that about the, the web fluid. No. Yeah, he goes, the tensile strength is off the charts, but it's also what I say to you during Loveless X. About my cum? Yeah, I guess, I guess so. I was thinking like your your booty oh. meat or something, but I, I think cum makes more sense. Yeah. Fire rope, you know what I mean? It just God threw. damn oh. you. Oh! Wait. That man just like fucking combo can that man Roman cancelled you. Like in fucking uh Guilty Gear. I uh we should play Strive. That's what we should do. I've uh are you good at Guilty Gear? I haven't ever played Strive. I haven't I haven't either. Open the game. Should we cause we've we've been we've been kind of talking about potentially playing like competitive stuff. Yeah. But I think our problem is that we're both good at different types of games. 100%. Um, and I, w I don't want to play anything that, like, one of us is going to crush the other one in. I mean, you're not going to crush me in things like S Smash. You know, I'm way better than you at that. Okay, well, then let's let's play it then. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> well, then, well, then let's, let's, uh, <laughs> let's try it out then. We got, well, I mean, we're going to do Subspace Emissary anyways. That's true. So then, so then that's, that's really where the Smash skill, uh, oh my god. He fucking dodged it. I'm sorry, I spawned you in right when he's beating the goofy out of me. It's fine. Okay, okay. Would you be down for, like, game show games? Would, would y'all like to see that on the channel, gang? Uh, yeah, we could try it. I think, uh, what's your favorite game show? Uh, Jeopardy. Question. Really? Yeah. Do you think you'd be good at Jeopardy? I think I'd be half decent at Jeopardy. I think, I think I at would Jeopardy too. for home, I'd be good at. But like, I was on my high school's like quiz bowl team. Okay. I never did any of that stuff, but I love game shows so much. I I don't think we had like a quiz bowl type of thing, or maybe we did, and I just wasn't like smart like that or uh, perceptive enough to see that we had that. Mm. But also, a lot of the times they ask a lot of. So I'm I'm horrible at like history questions at um, geography. Yeah, that kind of stuff, like like kind of world history, geography type of stuff. Yeah, but when it comes to um, entertainment and like science, mathematics, uh, that type of stuff, I'm actually pretty decent. Okay, what's your favorite game show? Ooh, my favorite of all time is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Regis Philbin. Interesting. That's like one of my favorites of all time. I just remember watching it a lot as a kid, and there was something like comforting about it. I just uh, it's crazy how much nostalgia factors into your, your enjoyment of like any media. To be oh, one hundred percent. It's like where you were in that time. Like I just remember being on like family vacations and trips and stuff, and watching Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Regis Philbin when I was like six, and being like, "This is the fucking life." Um, because it's like it was like kind of like a late night show or late night for a six year old type of show. It was yeah, on at, like eight or nine or some shit. 
And uh, no, that was just like, that was a classic, bro. I love that shit. And it was multiple choice too. So like when I knew the answers, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm a I, I could feel like a genius on like the, you know, up to the $1,000 question when I was like six years old. Yeah. They, they like the questions were that easy and then they get like so hard. And then that's how I learned shit. That's how I, you know. Who wants to be a millionaire is a good one. I'm a, I'm a fan. Um, Jeopardy also, all time great. Steve Harvey Family Feud. Fucking amazing. Yeah, it's an it's an entertaining. Do you know the Chase? The game show The Chase? We talked about it off off stream off recording once, but yeah. I don't remember exactly what it is. It's a British game show where they have um basically like somebody that is like, you know, a quiz master of some sort. They're either like the American version had this Oxford educated guy, uh, that they called the Beast. Okay. And he was, you know, they I think they have um Oh my gosh! Why can't I remember his name from Jeopardy? The the gambler guy. Um, oh, James. Um, James. James Holtz Holtzauer. James Holtz. Yeah, there we go. They had they had him. <laughs> he's he's the high roller in the modern uh, chase in America, um, and uh, they go against a team of three people that all face off one by one against. They they answer like a rapid fire questions to build up their bank, and then with that bank they can either play for the amount of money that they earned. Or they can accept one of two other offers from the uh, chaser. Okay. Um, they can give them like the low ball offer or the high ball offer. And really what the offer signifies is just how many questions they need to answer. Um, and how much of a lead they'll have on the chaser. So that, like, there's like the chase section of the game. Um, and in that they have to basically get like five questions right before the chaser gets like three more correct than them. And then based on what offer they take, it changes how many questions they need to get right versus how many spaces ahead of the chaser they are. Mm. Um, and then when they do that, they have that money in the bank, but then they don't win any of that money until the final round where they do one final chase where the remaining contestants face off against the chaser uh, 3v1, like up to 3v1, and then if the chaser loses, then they win the money. So there's a chance that the game ends and no one wins any money and they had the chance to win like fucking 300k or whatever. This sounds really complicated. It is really complicated and explaining it, it's really complicated, but then when you watch it, you're like, okay, I get it. Hmm. We should just watch it for like... We should. Like, if there was a video game version of it, I would be definitely down to play it. It's the, My thing, the thing I love about it is it's the amount of trivia per, uh, per second, you know, per minute is, is insane. <laughs> The like, there's just so trivia. much trivia packed into a single uh, episode, you know? It's like, it's more than Jeopardy, it actually is. Really? I'm pretty sure, yeah. But is it, like, good good trivia, though? It's a little bit easier than Jeopardy because it's so fast-paced. Mm. And because they have, you know... I, I feel like Jeopardy is kind of probably the hardest game show, to be honest. And the oh, least, 100%. One of the least rewarding, to be entirely honest, because, like... You have a fucking deal or no deal where you just basically, uh, it's just stats. It's just basic statistics. It's like a one in 30 chance that you get a million dollars versus like Jeopardy where like you have to fucking grind. You have to win 30 times in a row to get like, you know. A hundred thousand. Yeah. Like you can, yeah, you can win a game 50 times and like barely break a million dollars. Um, so very, very rewarding show if you're one of the best, but. For the general public, no. What's the best like, like, video game game show then? Um, I don't know. I haven't played like a ton of them. I played on stream, Family Feud, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and um, Jeopardy, like like those three. And none of those games were particularly like. Why isn't it breaking? Uh, were particularly like you good. Old bitch, that's why. Damn, man, come on. Not cool, bro. I think you can destroy it. Destroy it. Oh my god, come on. Um, and now does it break? Okay. Is there a thing behind it? Yes, I there knew it. There we go. He knew. Yeah. Um, but yeah, none of them were particularly, like, great. Uh, but, you know, it's it's just the game itself. But it doesn't have the magic of, like, the host. The host makes a big difference, I feel like. Oh, yeah, 100%. The banter makes a big difference. The, uh, you know, it's just the energy, you know? The, the games don't always capture all the energy. You know what else I fucked with is Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Oh, I haven't watched much of that. It's uh, exactly what it sounds like. You just they ask questions, grades one through five, and I feel like some of those fifth grade questions are probably like, 
you know, they would be at like the end of the textbook in your curriculum where like you mm. wouldn't even like go over that kind of shit. I feel like that happened often. Like I would have a textbook for classes like growing up and we just would not get to the end of the textbook. Yeah, that's just what happens. <clears throat> um, I wonder if you're supposed to. Do you think in, in teacher curriculum you're like, I, it would be nice if you got to that shit, but sometimes you just don't? I can tell you, no. Okay. So it's just like this textbook the, has this information. The textbook is merely just what the like district decides as the best the best resource to teach the yeah, information that they want to teach. Basically. Exactly. Yeah. And then I'm guessing somebody is responsible for making like the overall curriculum and then the Correct. teachers basically decide the best way to deliver that information. Correct. It's typically like the local local admi administration will go over okay. the uh, curriculum and and what they deign as important inside of a course. And they'll, they'll typically deliberate with the department, but um, in certain districts, they won't. Certain districts, they think that they, they know everything. Understandable. Um, now, do you take that districts. 